not a hard feature at first. No, we will not palpate any humpback. Yeah? We will not palpate. But at its width, we will palpate. Uh, and we will palpate how? Hmm. Usually, you will put your fingers four, five, six for the space. If you don't know, you can count. But first, because clavicle is there, covers first three, but second, third, fourth. No, approximately uh, four, three, or four fingers space above nipple, fifth below nipple. No, it is approximately. No, in some body, it depends on size of breasts, yeah? like this. So, my finger, fourth, fifth. Your body is hot. You have fever? No. Yeah. Fourth, fifth, sixth. Yeah? Tips of fingers until anterior side is lying. You will press a little bit your palm yeah, to feel pulsation. And uh, where you will feel pulsation, you move your fingers along the intercostal spaces till pulsating area and you will turn. You are slim, but what is bit not so distinct because I think intercostal spaces not narrowed, not narrowed, but I feel that so far from my fingers. Small heart. <laughs> well, I think vertical position yeah, of the heart, yeah, but yeah, you will move until you will feel pulsation and turn your fingers, yeah, like your fingers together. And after that you will give characteristics. No, at first, apex bit may be positive, may be negative, yeah, you turn it. In healthy person's positive, you will see outward movements. Yeah? In some cases, if it is negative, you will see inward movements. It is possible in case of adhesion of both layers of pericardium, that yeah? adhesive mm. pericarditis, inward movements you can see. You will assess location. In healthy persons, it is uh, one, one, one si five centimeters from mid follicle and medially, medially. We also will assess what um, area, area. So uh, area usually two centimeters square. If less, it is restricted, it is more, it is diffuse at its bit. Так, what else? Not only location, area you will assess, and also strength, resistance, amplitude, and duration. About strength, no, I think it is uh, like pressure, or what will be applied on your fingers, da? like this. Uh, resistance is like you can think about density of the heart muscle, da? so no, by, by palpation. And uh, we have amplitude, no, it is like height, the amplitude, it is like amplitude of vibration the, of the chest wall. Plus, we have duration of apex bit. Uh, duration of apex bit, you can check only uh, if you will perform auscultation and palpation at the same time. Uh, in healthy persons, we usually hear two sounds, first and second. First is systolic, second is diastolic. Between first and second sounds is systolic pause, the systolic pause. But usually, uh, no points of auscultation I think I will explain today also because uh, without, I cannot explain this moment um, and something else. We have for mitral well point of auscultation, this apex bit. Uh, for aorta, it is sec uh, uh, second in the coastal space on the right side. For pulmonary trunk, it is second in the coastal space on the left side. Uh, and the tricuspid well, it is the uh, base of the fluid process. To assess duration of apex bit, da, what will you do? You will put your phonendoscope to any point of auscultation, any except apex because because you will palpate the apex bit here, no emerging time, aortic point, mm. and you will listen and palpate at the same time. What does it mean sustained and sustained apex bit? Da? What I I do uh, first, first sound, second sound, da? but in healthy persons. You will feel pulsation, not all systolic pause, only some part, usually two front, uh, two front, da? it is unsustained apex bit. Uh, if you will feel uh, all systolic pause, it is sustained apex bit. Mm -hmm. I usually explain, <coughs> very difficult, in our country we don't check this property, because if the patient has tachycardia, systolic pause so, so short, da? I think you will feel, it will be like sustained apex bit. Da? To, uh, is that if if so short, if so short, da? and and pulsation. But <coughs> you should know, da? it is duration in healthy two third of sister. Da? In oh, if 
sustained, it may be due to hypertrophy of left ventricle, da? so in this case you will feel all systolic pulse da? with pulsation, but simultaneously listen and palpate, listen and palpate. <coughs> Um, it was apex bit characteristics. Da? So, location, area, strength, amplitude, resistance, duration. Da? So many characteristics. After that, cardiac bit. Cardiac bit. Da? I said you can see pulsation and you can feel it. Uh, pulsation where we, we can palpate usually level four. Fifth in the pulse space, left edge of the sternum. Da? So you will apply your hand here. When can we feel pulsation here? Uh, in health of persons, if patient is asthenic, they have a thin chest wall. Da? It may be in case of excitation, of physical exhaustion, da? We, we have, and you, you can feel it. Uh, in case of pathology, here is the region of absolute cardiac downs. What is this? I will explain later. Da? And the region of absolute cardiac is formed by right ventricle. Right ventricle is located here because of uh, heart. Da? What anterior surface is right ventricle, right ventricle. What usually due to hypertrophy of right ventricle, we will study many pathologies which can lead uh, to hypertrophy of right ventricle. So due to right ventricle hypertrophy, it may be due to paratoxicosis, that is to the uh, visible pulsation. And uh, uh, no, one more, uh, we have, if we have tumor of mediastinum, when the heart will be shifted forward, da? but in this case too, you can palpate it. Uh, so it is cardiac beat, cardiac beat. After that, uh, nearly same place, we have left ventricular aneurysm pulsation. I explained for cardiac beat, it is fourth, fifth in the course of space. Uh, for left ventricular aneurysm, it is from third till fifth. And you will have first, second, or third. Da? Da? I will put my fingers da? here to palpate if presence left in cure reason. And you, know, you can see it is near the same place. Da? How to differentiate? Is it left in cure reason or cardiac beat? What to do? Uh, we have some moments for cardiac beat. For cardiac beat. Uh, this pulsation can be spread to epigastric region da? because uh, right ventricle, the right ventricle. Uh, and uh, if you will ask patient to inhale, the pulsation becomes more prominent da, during inspiratory phase. Uh, about left ventricular aneurysm, it is constant, will not be changed, will not be spread, uh, will not be changed with breathing, like this. Da. So absolutely same. Da, after that, next, what you can feel? Pulsation of aorta, ascending part of aorta, or pulmonary trunk, da, by fingers, in second deposit spaces. No, I don't feel any pulsations, but when can you feel it, as example, da? Uh, if it is um, aortic pulsation, aortic incompetence, do you remember? The aortic incompetence can pulsate, um, aorta can pulsate here, uh, posterioris, da? so it is arch of aorta, da? visible passage, but here also dilation of aorta, aneurysm of ascending part of aorta, uh, pulmonary trunk, dilation of pulmonary trunk, uh, pulmonary hypertension, da? sometimes you can feel pulsation here. Da, about heart region palpation, that's all. Ah, yet. We have one moment. Uh, we have freeze or cat purr. Did you read about this? Hmm? Mm -hmm. <coughs> now look. When we have some heart defects, we can feel uh, vibration of the chest wall. Why? When? Any valve, we have stenosis, we have incompetence. Da? In case of stenosis, I will explain an no, example of mitral valve. Da? We have narrowing, stenosis is narrowing of mitral valve. No, maybe some connection of leaflets together. Da? It cannot be opened completely. And when the blood will flow from the left atrium to left ventricle, will arise turbulent movements, da? because I explained example of respiratory system, laminar or turbulent uh, flow of air, fluid. Da? If uh, turbulent, turbulent. If we have some narrowings, da? You know, dilations, da? not equal lumen, da? in this case, we'll have turbulent movements. And uh, uh, by auscultation in future, you will hear uh, murmur. Da? Uh, by palpation, you can feel vibration, vibration, because turbulent movements da, will be transmitted to the chest wall like vibration. Oh, and like cat pro, da? <laughs> so you you will feel it. Um, it may be due to uh, stenosis of wells, or maybe due to significant regurgitation. 
Regurgitation, да, so, for example, my, same mitral valve, да, regurgitation means the mitral valve will not close the completely, да, and there is a complete closure, and during the systole, blood will be returned, да, to the left atrium, uh, if it is significant regurgitation, да, turbulent movements that can cause vibration. How to check? We have points of auscultation, да, so for mitral valve, apex of the heart, so... When you will apply your hands on the apex, if you will feel any vibration, you can differentiate. Is it systolic or diastolic? Systolic or diastolic? Well, maybe some, if apex be palpable, maybe simultaneously the apex beat. Uh, better to palpate carotid artery. Synchronous or asynchronous? Huh? Uh, so, so fast. So there is, there is no, da? or if there is systolic, diastolic. If diastolic, uh -huh, you will think about mitral stenosis. If systolic, mitral incompetence. After that, we have aortic well point. Da? You will apply your hand here if you will feel any uh, vibration again compare. Da? We have pulmonary trunk, the second cause place on the left side. Da? Da, you will feel compare. And uh, the four process, basically, the four process of the tricuspid well. Da? So you can apply any point of auscultation, and if you will feel vibration, you should assess. Uh -huh. Systolic, diastolic, and after that, think about uh, future pathology. <coughs> now, about palpation of heart region, that's all.